Often we can look to the past to understand the future. The ancient people known as Hisatsunom in Hopi were living in the southwest for centuries. Benevolent beings, aliens, and demigods had interactions with the ancient Pueblo people. They told their stories carved into the rocks, leaving petroglyphs as a trail of what they saw, believed in, and their migration path. The indigenous people were aligned with the earth and understood there were unseen energies that lived alongside them. Symbology carved or painted onto rocks or canyon walls was the only way records were kept. History was taught through an oral tradition of storytelling. The Southwest holds many sites that were once villages brimming with life. Rooms were used for storage and sleeping. They entered through roof hatchways with ladders as well as doorways. Cooking was done on top of the roof or in the plaza. The central focus for all the villages scattered across the four corners is the kiva. These round ceremonial chambers are built into the earth underground. They are a sacred place to pray, sing, dance, and hold ceremony. The roofs were covered with juniper logs covered with earth. The hole in the roof has a ladder to enter the kiva. The round shape of the kiva represented that people were still migrating. Today the kivas are square, indicating the migration is over. Some kivas had underground tunnels to enter them. Some of the sites had towers used for storage, ceremonial items, and signaling other communities nearby. Stories of migration are an intricate part of Pueblo cultures. When the Third World ended, great civilizations like Atlantis and Lumeria fell. The area known as Atzlan, now marked on the map as Cancun, Mexico, was the hub of indigenous people from all over North and South America. Some of the ancient people migrated before the comets hit the Earth in 12,800 BC and started the long trek north and south. Some were washed away in the Great Flood and some were taken underground. The emergence from the Sipapu in the Grand Canyon was the indication that the fourth world was beginning. When it was safe to emerge, the people climbed out of the Sipapu into the Grand Canyon. The direction of where people migrated was according to the clans each clan was reliant on signs that led them to their destination. Pictographs of bear paws, birds, and other clan deities cover the migration trail. It was the highly initiated men who carved the stories into the walls of the canyon. In essence, the migration of the fourth world looks like a basket with trails woven throughout the southwest. What is recorded in pictographs and petroglyphs is reflecting the times of what was important to the people. Depictions of gods and spiritual deities, spirals, plans, and migration patterns are found throughout the Southwest. Handprints that cover the walls show how many people are living there, marking initiations and rites of passage. Big gouges into the walls are marked by the warriors of each community. They were not void of attacks and death. These marks were status for the warriors. Hisatsunom were visited by the Kachinas, the demigods that guided the people since the beginning of time. There is a difference between demigods and aliens. Aliens are like humans, only most of them are much more evolved. Aliens also visited the people of the Southwest. In my spirit travels, I observed extraterrestrials in the villages and cave dwellings. These beings were small with large heads. They were pale, white, with grayish tones. I saw some of the people fleeing the site when they arrived, and others being taken off planet. I also saw ships flying through the canyons. When I visited a remote site in the Four Corners region, I saw a set of handprints that had extra long fingers and rounded tips. These handprints were three times the size of the people and their prints. They stood out and did not appear to be something that belonged there. 
In my spirit travels to this site, I saw the aliens marking the wall, the same as the people to remind them they had been there and would be back. The mass exodus of the people throughout the southwest from Chaco Canyon all the way to White Canyon and Lake Powell was influenced through various events. One of the biggest events was 530 AD when the sun was covered by volcanic ash and growing food became so difficult it forced the people to migrate. Not 500 years later, another big event recorded at Chaco Canyon set the people in motion. A supernova recorded in a pictograph that happened on July 4, 1054 AD. This powerful stellar explosion sent a message to the people. The time had come. Many migrated due to this ominous sign. Another influence would be drought. The scarcity of water has been a pattern in the Southwest motivating the indigenous people to ask the gods for help. Even to this day, Hopis are dry farmers and pray to the Kachinas to bring rain and fertility to the people. It was no different back then, except the people did not have the influence of the modern world. They were the modern world. Their pottery and baskets rival today's housewares. We forget that living close to the earth teaches us much more than hardship. When we live in unison with the planet, we learn about the energy that rises up through our feet and how she regenerates us. Crossing a narrow path with footholds carved into the rocks reminded me of a time when humans were really alive, filled with wonder for a falling star and grateful for the warmth of a fire. The ancient people look after these places. You can feel them when you enter a canyon. Be respectful and remember to ask permission to enter a site. Never take anything from a sacred place, not even a pottery shard. All of the remnants of the past have energy connected to the ancestors. Respect the past for it clearly tells us about our future. The sun and earth have cycles, just as humans have cycles with emotional patterns and karma. A solar event, a volcanic eruption, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, and comets are all a part of the natural cycles of the earth and sun. We are a part of that cycle. So is the influence of extraterrestrials.